Hi. In this video, I'll explain a tricky problem involving Newton's laws of motion, free body diagrams, and friction. We have the problem explained on the screen. A box is sitting on another box, and there is a force F pulling the lower box towards the right, and it drags the upper box along with it. Now, there is no relative motion between the upper and lower boxes. There is a static friction out there and there is zero friction between the lower box and the ground. We are supposed to find out the acceleration of the system and the force F on the lower box. Let's look at an animation that will make the concept clear. So we have the green looking box coming towards us pulled by force F represented by a green arrow and a lot of red looking arrows on the top of the green box between the green box and the upper box. Those are the small forces of friction between the surfaces of those two boxes. So if you look at the 2D sketch, it will help us to make a free body diagram. First we attack it in the vertical direction. There is no motion in the vertical direction so we can apply Newton's first law and say that as far as the upper box is concerned, its weight downwards is balanced by the normal reaction upwards. So normal reaction on the upper box is n is equal to mg 5 into 9.8, that's 49 Newton. Now in the horizontal direction, things become tricky. The green box is of course pulled by a force F and it's moving at an acceleration A. The upper box tends not to move. As per Newton's first law, all objects like to be static unless acted upon by an external force. So here the external force is a force of friction between the green box and the upper box. And therefore, you can see a yellow arrow there saying that the friction force is responsible for moving the upper box towards the right with the same acceleration A. Now we can draw a free body diagram for the upper box. So you can see that vertical forces are all balanced, N and Mg. And when we apply the free body diagram in the horizontal sense, we see an imbalanced force a yellow arrow which is a friction force and that makes sense because this friction force is causing the mass to accelerate towards the right hand side with a common acceleration A. Now we are observing this from an inertial frame of reference that is we are outside the system. So now we apply the second law and as per that force is equal to MA the mass is known and A is to be found. Now this force is nothing but the friction force so make F is equal to mu n equal to ma and therefore we can solve for A and that becomes 24.5 divided by 5 equal to 4.9 meters per second squared. Now in this slide I'm just explaining that friction has helped in the upper box moving towards the right. So friction opposes the direction of motion but friction doesn't oppose motion itself. So the wording is very fine here. The upper box tends to move towards the left uh, as per Newton's first law. And then friction opposes that tendency. Therefore, friction acts towards the right. And here, if the friction wasn't there, the upper box would have just slipped and fallen off. Now we can make a free body diagram for the lower box. And let's first tackle things in the vertical direction. So there is no motion of the lower box in the vertical direction. That means all the forces are balanced as per Newton's first law. So all the weights acting downwards on the floor are compensated and balanced by the normal reaction acting upwards. Now we come to the horizontal direction and things are a little tricky here. The green box is being pulled towards the right by a force F and the green box is accelerating with an acceleration equal to A. So the forces acting on the green box in the horizontal direction are the red force F and the backward force due to friction which is shown as a yellow arrow F equal to mu n. This backward force is because the green box is actually dragging the upper box along with it and the upper box therefore exerts a dragging force backward on the green box. Therefore the friction force which was the same as we calculated earlier but it's acting in the opposite direction here. It's very important to uh, put the correct direction in the free body diagrams. With that, we apply the 
resultant principle here. So the green mass is accelerating towards the right with an acceleration a. So as per second law, f is equal to ma, which is great. So we call it f net, the net force. So mass of 10 kg is accelerating with a. So equate that to the resultant force. The resultant force is the pulling force minus the backward force. Both are in the same direction. Therefore, F minus frictional force equal to MA. So therefore, the pulling force F is equal to MA plus frictional force, which is 10 into acceleration plus 24.5, which we found earlier. So that becomes 73.5 newtons. In this way, uh, we apply the principle of the free body diagram. I hope this was useful. Thanks and have a great day.